Hey guys, what's going on, AZ? It's Swing Song this year. I'm back again once again with, um, not a guide to the seamless co op mod, the new shiny mod that hit Dark Souls 3, a formerly only an Elden Ring mod that the developer did not have any plans for making not another one, but he decided to and grace us with the seamless co op mod for Dark Souls 3, and later will be introduced to Dark Souls Remastered, which I'm going to play, and uh, along with my friend Declan. Who is a nut uh, for the series? <laughs> About as much as I am. Uh, me and him, me and him teamed up to take down Dark Souls 3, a seamless co op, uh, but we wanted a fun twist. Since both of us have played the game a bunch of times, uh, we wanted to play the Convergence mod. Now, as you all know, <laughs> the Convergence mod is not so shiny anymore. It is. It is the de facto mod for DS3, um, and you know, it was last updated in 2022. So you, you can run into mod compatibility issues, and unfortunately, seamless co-op is a victim of just a depreciated convergence. But with the right steps, we can get this working, and with some help from the community, because uh, we've read posts of people getting this working in multiple different methods, uh, we ended up fumbling around and getting it working. So we're going to show you how we did it. Uh, again, I mean, the shout out to my friend Declan. He absolutely made this possible, and and I'll have links for the description for, for everything, everything you need, and as well as the copy paste um, for the code that you need to put in the I and I file. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna walk you all through it. So what do we need for this? We're going to need the mod engine 2.1. This is just the newest version. This is just what we were using. Um, but you know, please do let us know if it's a more like stable release or more suitable release for this method. No, but you know, we're gonna use 2.1. You're gonna need you're gonna copy of the seamless co-op mod. You're gonna need the download, either the manual or the, or the executable. Uh, for well, automatically downloading the convergence and and you will need hoodie patcher now hoodie patcher uh, by itself uh you may not need need to download I, i'm unsure but always get a fresh copy just to save yourself some time because the convergence mod when it installs it does install hoodie patcher as well but uh, we're going to, have to do some steps to um to fix it once it installs so with all that it downloaded we're going to come over to the desktop and then we'll show you what everything looks like where you'll be kind of looking around and really where you'll be for for most of the time So, uh, let's start with the the mod engine, the folder itself. So you're just gonna go ahead and unzip that file, and then you'll be left with the mod engine folder itself, and it's gonna have a couple of things: a mod folder, a mod engine two folder, and a bunch of configs. And you're gonna see it: config underscore dark souls three dot toml. You're going to open this up with a notepad plus plus or another equivalent program. All right. So this is where you would make the first edit. And I will show you how to edit it. So here is my copy now on screen. So and this will be in the descriptions. You can just you can just you can copy and paste. Like a, like I did actually, he's Declan figured this out. Uh, but uh, basically, we're enabling true for the convergence. <laughs> There's a good path to find the convergence folder. We're also directing it to run Hoodie Patcher and Seamless Co-op, and the DLLs corresponding to them. And that's pretty much all you need to know. It basically, I direct direct the guy to go get the stuff, so, it, so it'll work. So what we need to do is take this mod folder and we're going to go ahead and rename it DS3. 
because that just helps keep everything clean and sorted and that's how we have it set up in the the other tomi file i don't know if it's tomi or toml eh, we're gonna argue about it in the comments anyway so moving on to the convergence now the convergence does a couple things so the auto downloader will install directly to your directory and you're going to need to move some stuff over i will show you how to set up everything and then i'll show you how my folder looks and i'll just walk you through any differences you may encounter but you would end but you would in in install the convergence mod uh if you're running the next will install it to the game and what you're going to do is drag and drop your convergence folder In here like so and it should be just called the convergence and as you see i have a ds3 folder in here and i added a tomi file and we are almost there the rest of this is really easy so for example i'm gonna go grab uh, my copy of the convergence we're gonna go ahead and paste this over for example sake And the only specific differences with the Convergence mod installing to the game folder versus just this are a couple of miscellaneous files it installs extra, but you only need the Convergence file. And uh, a little like side note, if you find a DLL in your game called D input, go ahead and delete that file. That is something you will need to do or it will not work. I don't know why I asked no one who's smarter, but anyway, so once we move with the convergence file in there, we don't need the mod engine, we don't need the convergence anymore. We need seamless co-op. So we're going. We're gonna go ahead and grab the seamless co-op folder. And there will be an executable in here. This is how you would launch the mod by itself. So if you just want to play seamless co-op, we'll go ahead and copy and paste this in there. <laughs> Boom, you're done. You don't even need the but soon we'll But since we want to run the convergence mod, we are going to just run, just copy and paste the seamless co-op mod, and then we'll end up with seamless co-op folder. Now this will one more edit that does take place. Uh, and this will be in the seamless co-op folder in the ds3sc.dll. That is, is the file that it's going to be reading and it's going to be directed to the DS3 settings.isi. That I and I. Yeah. So what you're going to do is open up that I and I. Basically, you're just going to like fill out what you need to in here. So uh, for the convergence mod, you're going to go ahead and disable invaders. So you're going to turn that to zero. And uh, there is a legend here, zero being false, one being true. And then you can configure the mod from here on how you want it to scale, it'd be harder. And this is where you also set your co-op password. And before you launch the mod or wonder why it's not working, always set your co-op password, always. So you're just gonna make it a boob. You know, we're gonna make it boob and then yeah, there you go. And then all you gotta do is do that. And then you're just gonna hit save. Nice, you you did it. Good job, everybody. Now that we got the boob file and we don't need to be in there anymore. So now comes the hardest mod to install. You're gonna grab Hoodie Patcher, you're gonna open it. You're gonna copy these two DLL files. <laughs> HoodiePatcher.dll and HoodiePatcher.ini, excuse me. And you're gonna copy and throw. And you're gonna basically uh, extract them. Extract two. And yeah, you're gonna go ahead and just extract them to a folder. Yay! Then you're gonna throw it in that folder and now Hoodie Patcher is installed. It's all you have to do. And there is nothing you have to do after that.
I also would make sure that this folder is just named Hoodie Patcher. Because uh, the way my friend has it set up, I don't think he has any other name like set for it yet. But you can obviously rename these folders and everything in these examples to whatever you would like. But we try to keep it simple. And now, you should be ready to play the uh, Convergence Mod with Seamless Co-op. Now, here's where my disclaimer comes in. This works some of the time when it wants to. And I mean that in a very sincere way and not in a funny way. Um, unfortunately, uh, when the game crashes, it seems to not operate anymore. Uh, on, on a level of fuck you capability, as I like to call it. Um, so uh, to launch the mod, what you're going to do is launch Dark Souls 3.bat in your mod engine 2.1 folder. And... You're going to see the command box. If it doesn't launch in that command box, it stays there. It'll tell you to go set a password in the file. Else you need to. We're seamless co op. But then. Ta da! We're playing the convergence mod. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. There's trees. There's seamless co op up here. This is how you can tell it's loaded. And you can see the convergence down here. So we're going to go ahead and load it. I'm just going to load a character for us. And just to show you everything is operational or if it crashes right now, then I can show you how to fix it. But, you know. All right. So cool. So, so we're in, we're playing. Cool stuff. And to check of the Seamus Co-op mod, at the first bonfire you sit at, you will get these co-op items. And these are the ones that allow you to, uh, to summon people. Join your friend's sessions, invade your friend's sessions. So you could just like invade them to piss them off if they're just playing without you. And uh, yeah, so uh, a few notes at the end here. Um, it seems Firelink Shrine causes you to crash when you load back into a save. We don't know if that's the case, but it's been the most common for me that my game has stopped functioning after I've saved and left Firelink Shrine. So, yeah, so make sure you uh, travel somewhere else first and then you quit because that could be the issue. Um, we have uh, an idea that it might be shaders, but neither me nor my friend are, uh, how do you say, uh, fucking professionals. So, yeah, again, a shout out to my friend, Declan. I, I really appreciate him uh, fucking holding my hand because I'm a dumbass when it comes to this stuff but, but yeah now we have a good time with it and hopefully you will too if you have any questions uh, any any other things that might help us go ahead and leave in the comments let's get a discussion going and share this around i mean i'm the Sony scientist and uh, i'll see you later bye bye